ever pondered what it would be like to experience life through another's eyes. Not merely walking in their shoes, but literally becoming them. This is the enigma of body swapping, a concept that transcends science and delves deep into the realm of metaphysics. It's an idea that challenges the very core of our understanding of self and existence. But let's take it a step further. What if reincarnation wasn't just a cycle of physical death and rebirth? What if it included the transference of spirits between living entities? A spirit feeling trapped, dead inside, might just find a new lease on life in a different vessel, be it human, animal or even mineral. This isn't a tale of ghostly possessions or eerie hauntings. It's about essence, about being a channel for healing, about the intermingling of souls in the grand tapestry of existence. Imagine living in a body you no longer desire, only to find your spirit inhabiting a completely different entity. Now, imagine this process not as a terrifying possession, but as a harmonious dance of spirits. This dance, this movement of souls, is not a horror movie scenario, but rather a therapeutic exchange. Think of it as a way of healing, a chance to lend our bodies as vessels to spirits seeking solace, seeking a moment of respite. These spirits, they're not strangers. They're familiar. They're part of our community, part of us. Our bodies become a sanctuary, a refuge, offering them a momentary abode. And in return, they provide us with a unique perspective, a new lens to see the world. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this akin to demonic possession? Well, isn't it all a matter of perspective? We all have our demons, don't we? Those inner voices that whisper our deepest fears, our darkest secrets. But what if instead of shunning these voices, we listen to them? What if we offer them a space to be heard, to be understood? What if we transform our bodies into a conduit for these spirits, a medium through which they can communicate their needs? This act of opening ourselves up to these spirits, it's not an invasion. It's an act of empathy, of understanding. It's about allowing their essence to mingle with ours, to create a symphony of experiences, a melody of lives lived and yet to be lived. It's about acknowledging their presence, their needs, their desires. And in doing so, we're not just helping them, we're helping ourselves. We become a channel, a medium for healing. Our bodies become a canvas on which these spirits can express themselves, a stage where they can perform their dance. And in this dance, there's a transfer of energy, a sharing of experiences, a mutual growth. So instead of fearing this concept, consider it as a unique form of therapy, a way to help others and ourselves. Remember, it's not an invasion. It's an invitation. It's not a possession. It's a dance, a dance of spirits, a dance of souls. And in this dance, we find healing, we find understanding, we find growth. In this modern era, technology plays a significant role in connecting us. Could it also be used to connect spirits? Picture this. The internet, a vast network of connections and information, is not unlike the spiritual network that binds us all. It's a platform for communication, for transference, for understanding. Just as we use technology to reach out to our friends across the globe, could our spirits use this same technology to reach out to other vessels? The balance between nature and technology is crucial. We must advance past our over-reliance on technology, yes, but dismissing it entirely would be a disservice to its potential. It's not about fearing the new and the advanced, it's about harnessing it, using it to aid in our spiritual evolution. Imagine a world where technology serves not only our physical needs, but our spiritual ones too, where it helps us burn away what doesn't serve our soul's evolution, releasing the ties that bind us. Technology, often considered a curse, might just be the blessing we need to reach spiritual singularity. In a world increasingly divided, could spirit swapping be the key to true unity? Picture this. We are not just one, but a community of souls, a chorus of voices, each with unique stories and lessons. As these spirits intermingle, they foster a deep understanding and empathy that transcends the mundane. They bridge the gaps between us, gaps that have been carved by fear, misunderstanding and prejudice. And in the process, they free us from the chains that hold us back from our spiritual evolution. Imagine a future where we burn away what doesn't serve our souls, where we release the ties that bind us to old ways of thinking and being. A future where we embrace the singularity of existence. This, my friends, is the promise of spirit swapping. So next time you find yourself yearning for change, remember, a new perspective might just be a spirit swap away.